faithful loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is, it is Monday. It is March 9th. The year is 2020. And we have a beautiful weekend here in Atlanta that ended tragically um, yesterday at Lenox Mall where a 25-year-old man was um, shot and killed in the parking lot as a, a group of guys, two groups of guys, we got into a disagreement over a parking spot. I'm not exactly sure what to make of that. I'm not going to uh, get into an argument with someone over a parking spot where somebody ends up getting shot and killed. But I think we have to start looking deeper at these incidents because it wasn't about the parking spot, obviously. There was something else going on in these guys' mind that felt that they had to get violent and harm each other over a a parking spot that I'm sure there were thousands of parking of spots readily available at that mall. And if you can't find a parking spot, you can easily valet, valet park your car in the front of the mall for about a couple of dollars. So why in the world would these groups of guys get into an argument that led to someone getting shot and killed in the parking lot of Linux over a parking spot. We may never know the answer to that question. But lately, they've had four, in four shooting incidents uh, at Linux Mall over the past few months. Um, Linux, Linux Mall is probably one of my uh, favorite malls in the city because it has clothing that I can fit. In stock, stuff that I like, um, designers that I like. Um, but when I, I've learned something about Linux Mall, when I go to Linux Mall to shop, I'm normally in and out of that mall by one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock is possibly too late, even on a, a weekday. I try to get in there in the morning time, get what I'm looking for, and get on out of there. And on the weekends, I tend to avoid the mall at all, not because I'm crime or anything. I just don't like the traffic, the parking. The crowds of people, I'm, I feel safe at Linux Mall, the truth be told, but I just don't like dealing with all the crowds and crowds of people. However, it is kind of concerning that this is the fourth shooting incident at that mall, and you begin to wonder, well, how many more times can this happen? This, in this incident, the person's dead. Where can you go and be safe here in Nickerville? I thought Linux Mall would be a safe mall, but we're finding it's not as safe as we thought it was. It's a huge mall, huge parking areas. They'd have to put in an army of police officers to protect people in that mall because if the parking lots are so big, getting in and out of there, so many entrances in and out, um, so many doorways, walls, malls, hallways, upstairs, downstairs, there's a lot going on in Linux. But it is said that these violent incidents keep taking place at that mall and they all look like, what? Us. Or me, mocha chocolate, sitting here. And you just have to, the violence in our community, which, you know, every, you know I don't know. I just It just makes you wonder what could enter into somebody's mind to shoot someone after arguing over a damn parking spot. We've all went to go get a parking spot and somebody jumped in that parking spot and took it from me. And then I've had this happen to me on numerous occasions. You know what I do? I just pull around to the next spot. Because I'm not going to sit in no parking lot and go back and forth with somebody over a parking spot. When they got 10,000 motor shoes, I'll just circle back around and get another one. We've all had incidents where somebody took our parking spot while we were waiting patiently, and then somebody jumped in there. But what can you do? I mean, get get violent over a damn stupid parking spot? I mean, it's just it's crazy. This man lost his life over a parking spot. I just find it's hard to believe. But then again, nothing surprises me in Nickerville. These niggas so damn crazy, it just don't make no sense. It don't make sense. So, I don't know. I don't even know what to make of it. Um... I know that people have better be careful today. If you're out in the mall, I don't care where you are. If you're out in public, 
if, if something takes place with a complete stranger that you do not know, do not argue with that person. Walk away quickly. There was another incident where in, over the weekend when a man in New York was stabbed to death getting on a train in the Bronx. Uh, a clothing designer. Um, they opened, he, he let the man into the subway, opened up the gate for him, for him a complete stranger, and the stranger stabbed him and his cousin. And this was 4.30 in the morning, Saturday, 4.30 Saturday morning. Um, at the Morrison Avenue Soundview station. A complete stranger, they had got into an argument about who knows what. And it's, you, I'm telling y'all, I keep my distance from niggas. I just, I can't, I can't do it because they too, it, it's too, when people, y'all were laughing about me being at that car wash yesterday on Candler Road and all this crazy shit because I saw so many people with guns, I didn't feel safe there because them niggas might have started shooting at each other over a card game or something. So I really didn't feel safe and I'm kind of like, I can't even believe I sat there and got my car washed while I'm watching all this crazy shit go on because I know we will kill each other in a heartbeat over nothing. We don't have a problem with grabbing a gun, grabbing a knife, taking a car, whatever, over a card game, a parking spot, something minor and minute. So when I'm out and about in the public, I tend to stay away from people. What I mean by that, people come up to me, talk to me and stuff. I say, oh yeah, I'm, I act like I'm on the phone. I talk to them headphones. I'll be like, I'm, I'm on the phone. I'm talking. I'm sorry. I'm on the phone. Yeah, but I'll pretend like I'm on the phone talking to people. I don't know what's wrong with this laptop here. It was acting up. I act like I'm on the phone talking to someone and I'll walk away so I don't have to be interrupted or harassed by someone who's trying to beg or whatever. But if that violence continues at Linux Mall, and it's going to continue, because everybody now knows you need to be strapped to go up to Linux, and so it just begins a snowball effect. Yeah, I'm going to Linux Mall. Grab that gun. Where the pageant say, oh, I'm going to Linux. We all right. But now people are like, oh, no, we don't know what the fuck going on in that parking lot. Linux, grab your damn gun and let's go. And it's going to, there's going to be something major. We've had our four shootings. Can the Atlanta police in the mall provide enough security? It's possible. They're going to have to spend a fortune. And you, we all know retail is, on, is slowly... Uh, retail is changing and most people don't shop in stores. No, this new apartment complex we live at over here is a bunch of white folks stay here all day long. All I see is Amazon Prime and trucks delivering. It's just delivery after delivery after delivery after delivery. Just they don't know. These people don't shop nowhere. They just come. The stuff is packed, piled up at the front door. It's interesting to see how this stuff, how people, if people, the whole shopping industry is going to do metamorphosis where people are shopping more online. And then, you, and then you're possibly afraid to go to one of the premier shopping malls in the state of Georgia without possibly being involved in some type, seeing some shooting or being involved in some type of shooting. It just really makes you wonder what can be going on. So anyway, y'all just need to be careful out there when y'all like these malls shopping. Uh, they didn't lost their damn minds up there. I don't, I, don't, I don't care where you at. Kroger, the mall. I don't care where you at. Don't talk to these people. And don't get into no disagreement with somebody over any damn thing that you do not know. Even if it means getting in your car and going to some other place, going to another mall, another store. Y'all, let's go. Let's go someplace else. Just do it. Because people are just crazy today. Just get in your car and go someplace else. I think that's probably your best bet. And then you don't have to worry about all this crazy stuff, being involved in something that losing your life over nothing, losing your life or a family member life over something that's minute as a damn parking spot. It's like, what is wrong with people? But people are crazy today. And, you know, I don't put anything past anybody. Well... This is going to be a short video because I'm just sitting here and drinking some coffee and really just getting up. I feel better. Slowly getting this cold out of my system. My chest is finally clear. Right? It's, it's clear. You know, yeah, you can feel that kind of congestion and that we're taking some mucinex and every, every now and then I cough up some film, but now it seems to be clear this morning. 
need a little t-shirt that said, I survived the coronavirus. Since we never know what it really was. I thought it was the coronavirus shit. I'm claiming the coronavirus. I survived it. That shit like to kill my ass over here. Um, hopefully everybody is safe over the weekend. I'll be back. And if there's another video I want to discuss, don't want to get this video first. But let me, um, go use the bathroom first. I'll be back. I want to discuss something else. Be careful out here when y'all in these balls, these public places. Don't talk to these strangers. Don't argue with these strangers. Don't flip them off. Don't do nothing. Walk the other way. Put your headphones on. Act pretend you're on a cell phone and walk away and live to see another day. Quit arguing and having communications with people you do not know. It is not worth it. They don't. These people are insane today. Uh, but if you want to use the bathroom, I'll be back. Today is, whew, what is that? Monday the 9th, year 2020. I'll be back.